Have you ever been driving down the road and saw a G35 that you liked, but you weren't quite sure what year it was? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys what to look for on the car so that you guys can tell what year G35 you're looking at from really, really, really far away. Now you have to remember that this list only works if the person that owns the car has not changed out any of the parts on it. So just keep that in mind as you go through the list. When you look at the front of the G35, there's some tall tale signs whether to tell if it's a 03 to 05 or a 06 and 07. Most of our car breakdowns are going to be 03, 04, 06, 07, and 05 is kind of like that middle child that no one ever talks about. Right on the front of the car, we can see our headlights. So these are the 06, 07 headlights right here. It is a projector headlight and also it is a clear turn signal down here. 2004, 2003, to 2005, we had the old style headlights and the turn signal down here is orange. So if you see orange here, it is most likely a 03 to 05. The next thing we can look at is the front bumper. Now this is the regular bumper that comes on most of the stock G35s. Now the only bumper that's gonna be different with this is the 2006 and 2007 six speed manual transmission. Mine doesn't have it because the previous owner swapped it out for the old style. So there's a different style of front bumper for the 06 and 07, but this is gonna be on every other car. Moving down to the back side of the car, we can look at the rims. These rims started out in 2005. So 2005, 2007 is the 10 spoke rims, 19 inch 10 spoke. Before that, the 2003, 2004 came with, I believe it was a seven spoke, it was either a seven or an eight spoke rim. And there were 18 inches before this as well. So this is the rims you can also tell the year of the car if there's still stock rims next up are the side skirts the side skirts on this one is the sport side skirt so 2006 and 2007 six speed manual transmission come with the side skirts that you see here what is what they consider to be their their sport side skirts um they are a little lower in the front and they have a design going as you can see right here all the way up alongside the back the other side skirts on the 2003 to 2007 that aren't manual, automatic, even the manuals before 2006 don't have this side skirt. Next up is the rear of the car. This is also somewhere that's very, very easy to tell what year it is. 03 to 05 have circles right here for the reverse light. 2006 and 2007 have this little linear line that goes across for the reverse light. 03 to 05 has a circle right there. So right there, you'd actually see a circle. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. And that is from the back, how you can also tell what year it is. One of the last things from the backside that's really easy to tell is the spoiler. This spoiler comes on the 06 and 07 style cars. 03 to 05 have the spoiler that hangs over on the outside right here. It's a larger spoiler that hangs out there and that's on 03 to 05. That's pretty much it for the outside visuals of how you can tell apart. So now let's go into what they actually change suspension wise and stuff um, on the actual cars over the years as well. For the suspension, Infinity in 2006 and 2007 for the Sport Tune package, which you can get on the automatic and is also standard on the six speed manual transmission, comes with the front bumper we talked about, the side skirts. It also comes with a sport tuned suspension all that is is they tighten the springs they tighten the shocks and they also added i believe a thicker stability bar to the car as well another thing you can tell from the outside of the vehicle are going to be if it has brimbo brakes or not the 03 and 04 manual transmission cars came with brimbo brakes in 05 they stopped the brimbo brakes so the manual transmission cars for 03 and 04 if they have brimbo brakes and it's probably gonna have the yellow or the orange on the headlight, and it'll probably have the circle reverse taillight. If it also has Brembo brakes, then you know it's a manual car and not an automatic. Underneath the car, Infinity also added for 2006, 2007 on the Sport Tune package, a viscous limited slip differential, which didn't come on the car before that year. Last but certainly not least guys, is the engine of the car. Now, every single year of the car came with the same engine in it, except for 2006 and 2007, which came with the rev up engine. Now that is only on the six speed manual transmission, 2006, 2007, 
G35. A really easy way to tell if you have a rev up engine or not is obviously if you have 2006 or 2007 manual transmission car. However, if you have an older year model car that maybe the engine's been swapped out and you want to tell, all you got to do is look right here. On our timing chain cover right here, we can see two different slots. The variable valve timing on this car for the rev up added exhaust timing as well as intake timing. Every other car for G35 only has the intake timing here, which is just one slot, this right here with the circle. If you have a rev up, you're gonna have two. This is the cover for the exhaust timing. This is the cover for the intake. It's one cover that gets taken off altogether, but you're only gonna have this one slot if you have a non rev up motor. Moving to the inside of the car, I'm honestly probably gonna forget uh, a few things. So if I did forget stuff, guys, please comment down below let me know what i forgot um other than that i'm gonna go over a few things that i know on the inside that they did change the easiest way to tell right away if it's a 2003 4 or a 5 through 7 is going to be the position of the clock now 2005 they redesigned the interior of the car so from 2005 2007 your clock is going to be located up here in this little uh this little um heads up display dashboard area now, if you have a 2003 or 2004, this clock is gonna be located right here in between here and down here. It's gonna be a little circle right there. So if you peek inside a window of a car and you see that the clock is down here, it's either a 2003 or a 2004. The next thing Infinity did in 2005 was they got rid of the cheap little plastic pieces. They started to add, um, I believe it was brushed aluminum is what they called it, onto the door handles. And also the center console right here. And last but not least, this little slot that goes in between your glove box compartment and your dashboard. So they added brushed aluminum right there in 2005. They also got rid in 2005, 2003 and 2004, there used to be a little cubby hole located right here. So right down here, there used to be like this little cubby hole slot. I actually really liked it. I had an 04 before, and there was just a little cubby hole right here. I believe there was also a little um, 12 volt outlet right here as well. It was really convenient for the passengers to put stuff right here and also to plug in their iPhone or something. And I don't remember if they had one on this side as well. It's been like seven years since I had my 04, um, but I know for sure the passenger side had a little cubby hole here that they got rid of in 2005 when they redesigned the interior. As far as appearances go and the major changes that happened from 03 to 07 while the G35 was out, that's pretty much it that I can remember. Like I said, there may be a couple little small things that I forgot. Um, I did everything that I could to remember everything. I had a list written down too I've been going off of. So I've been doing a lot of research on it for you guys so that you guys can tell if you're driving down the road or if a G35 passes you, you can spot it right away and know exactly what year it is depending on certain things and just looking at certain little small things on the car that they changed over the years. So again, if you know anything that I missed, please comment down below. Let me, get, let me know about it. Let my other subscribers, everyone watching the video know about it too. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys as always in the next video. Peace. Thank you.